On February 4th, Jewish Voices for Peace, an anti-Zionist left-wing Jewish activist organization, held a rally at the roundabout by the bridge to Hadley, advocating for a ceasefire in Gaza. As this was happening, there was a car caravan for the safe release of Israeli hostages. The caravan drove from Sheldon Field to UMass Amherst. The JVP holds rallies every Sunday at 11. This week, we spoke to the organizers of the JVP rally and a speaker of from the car caravan to hear their thoughts surrounding the rallies. We have been doing weekly protests since um, since October. So this um, pro-Israel car caravan that happened was a counter protest to our weekly protests. And we were aware that it was happening and we took extra care and making sure we had lots of security just because their cars were people like who knows what could happen, you know, especially if they're angry. So if the other side is protesting every week, I don't think we should protest every week. There should be a clear message of what you're saying is actually affecting us. And there are a lot of people here that are Jews and they want their voice to be heard. We believe in fighting anti-Semitism with, with the idea of collective liberation. And, and we want to also bring the hostages back safely. So we're, we're this group that's doing all of this and, and, and educating people on anti-Zionism and what that means. Spreading the awareness of the idea of the hostages is very important because there is a reason why Israel is doing all those stuff. There's no such thing as anti-Zionism. Every person who is against Zionism is against Jews. And it's just easier to say it. Zionists and, and Zionist propaganda and the Israeli government is trying to make it seem like this is what all Jews want. But there is a huge faction of American Jews that have not supported the Israeli government for a very long time. When we were passing the pro-Palestine rally, I saw a lot of people that are saying a message that they don't really understand. Because screaming ceasefire now, when there were so many offers for ceasefire, in return of the hostages, and Hamas declined all of them. The people that are saying, oh, we have to we have to get rid of Hamas, that's just like a fear, it's a fear reaction. And there's no there's no justification for mass murder. That that is terrorism. That is terrorism. A lot of the people just don't bother to check their facts. It's really sad because it's my family there. It's my people. It's my home. It, it's everything that I know. We are building community. On February 4th, when there were 400 people, I really saw, wow, we are building such a strong base. It was nice to see a lot of people that support Israel, took their time to, to participate and be there. So we thought it would be aggressive or that there'd be a lot of yelling, but it was like just not that many cars at all. And there were just so many of us. The main message was given. There were a lot of cars really showed some presence of people. Doing a car parade is the best thing that we could have done because we want to say we are here, we're present, and we're not going to harm anyone. Thanks for watching, and we hope you feel more informed on this topic.